Because <gasps> your Vegas was my Boulder. Bro. And I used that's to go to a Chinese restaurant in Boulder. A little <laughs> guy, five foot two, his name was Ron. All he cared about was money. I want money. I want money. You make money, you, you we do business. We do comedy. Wow. So I did the comedy show one night. He saw more he, more, he sold more my guys than he ever sold in his life. Yeah. So he would call me every day. When, <laughs> when we do comedy again. When we do comedy again, Joe. Wow. And I go, I'll go down there. <laughs> so I found out. He would say to me, Can I talk to you? How much for Richard Pryor? <laughs> you got that's a lot of money. You gotta give me like This is a real conversation. Oh yeah, he would go, How much for Bill Cosby? And I would go, uh, ten thousand. Give me five hundred now. Let me call his manager. Let me go get five hundred. He'd give me five hundred. His his nights off were Monday. I would get any black guy I could bump into. I take him to the Chinese restaurant. I go, "Where's Ron? Ron's not here." Tell him I brought Bill Cosby. That's Bill Cosby. Oh my God! All the Chinese people would hug him. Stop like it. He was Bill Cosby. <laughs> and then I go in there on Tuesday. I go, "Ron, where the fuck were you last night?" Bill Cosby came in. I missed him. You do that to me. And then he would go, "How about Eddie Murphy?" Give me 500. I'll bring Eddie Murphy. Stop it. Monday night, I'd show up with Eddie Murphy, some black kid that looked like Eddie Murphy. And I go in there Tuesday, get another nickel. This went on for years. <laughs> Every, any, and how about it? Fluffy. Fly, uh, tomorrow. I'll have him here this Friday. We sell 300 tickets. I make special. And then Monday, I'd show up again when his days off. <laughs> and then one day, I actually showed up with somebody, and I go, that's, he wanted the guy from Monday Night Football. Rich. The guy that fucked up Monday Night Football. Dude. What? His brother owns the Cap City. Really nice. Rich Miller. Remember Rich his, Miller. Remember his Oh, bro- Dennis Miller. Dennis Miller had Monday Night Football. Oh, my God, he did. So one night he came to me and goes, I want Dennis Miller. He funny guy. I go, I'll get him here next week. I showed up on a Monday with some white guy. He was there that night. That's not Dennis Miller, you fuck. You fucking you asshole. Fuck I want my money back for Bill Cosby. Bill I want Cosby. my money back for Eddie Murphy. Oh, I had Lenny Bruce in there. Oh, I had the Smothers shit. Brothers. Anybody he wanted, I would bring him. That's... The easy acts were the black ones. Because, you know, in Chinese people's eyes, all blacks look the same. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm surprised you just didn't use the same black guy every time. Oh, my God. You cannot believe this one on. He had a beautiful Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Across from a hot dog place called Mustard's Last Stand. <laughs> Mustard's Delicious Last hot Stand. Dogs. Delicious hot dogs with jalapenos, yeah. Chicago style with pickles. And Where's this at? Boulder, Colorado. Oh my God. This is a real story. It's a real fucking story. Run. I don't want to leave here, Joey, and go, that fucker fell for it. Oh my God. Hilarious. I used to do this is run. really, and you I would must pay you for this? I 5000 from him. Jesus. Every week to do Coke. Let me and Ron, who do you want this week? I want to bitch your pride. He's a funny guy. He lit himself on fire. He's half Chinese. I'll be here. I'll be in two weeks. I'll have him here. Then I show up on a Monday. I told you Friday. Monday, nobody comes to restaurant. We can only do comedy on Mondays. You pay 10000 That's a Monday night. You want Friday night? That costs you 100000 <laughs> and I'm waiting for him to give me an envelope. He we never, only sent 160 people. He never fucking questioned me at <laughs> Didn't all. Didn't give a shit. Bastard. We'll make our money back in food. And I had another brother who was working him on neon because he loved neon. Yeah. Chinese people love neon. So he wanted wonton soup neon. <laughs> uh, what do you mean neon? Neon that you press. Like the, the open sign? On, <laughs> open sign. So my buddy was the one who put me on though because he was working them for years. He wanted to open in Chinese. He would fuck up the letters. And come back and hit him up for another deposit. It was crazy. We were we were mugging Ron on a daily, oh my on a God. weekly fucking basis. No wonder he needed so much money. Oh, yeah, please. We used to, and he did dumpling great soup in neon. Well, he did great fucking business there. Everything was in neon, dumpling he, soup. He wanted everything in neon. He was so oh fucking God. crazy. Open now, happy hour, <laughs> buffet bar. He wanted everything like he wanted a light over his bar. It was called like I don't know. Confucius something. He really did. There's nothing there now. He's gone. I have not been there in 15 years to see what's... I've been to Bold, but not on that side. It's towards the college. It's right up the bottom from the university. So I think it's it's uh, Arapahoe, Whole Foods. It's, it was like a little... He has like a new restaurant with like a wall of fame of just black people. But it's like he says, oh, that's Bill Cosby. That's Richard Pryor. <laughs> what the fuck are you giggling about? No... <laughs> He did an error. I knew a second ago, but no. <laughs> keep, keep going from where you told it, because then you can't. <laughs> you know that little forehead you got? 